And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second trial. Our first one ended in a little bit of disappointment. We had a deck that I thought was really, really good. We only ended up getting the four wins, our last two opponents. We, we lost two in a row to two decks that were also really, really good. Um, so let's go ahead and start trial number two. We're going to try to get that seven win or at least, you know, more than four for sure. But let's see what we get. Okay, so we can go Zed, which is what we just did, but then Deathmark and Shadowfiend and really focus on the Ephemerals, which I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of that in Expedition. We have Callista, who comes along with Glimpse Beyond, which is a good card, and Miscall, which is eh. It's okay. But, you know, we go with, like, the Sacrifice theme with Callista. It's kind of fun. Or we can go Ash with Flash Freeze and Brittle Steel. And Flash Freeze and Brittle Steel are both awesome, and they work perfectly with Ash. And today's kind of gonna be an Ash day. We have two Ash decks that we're gonna be playing after this. I think we should, I think this, I think we should draft our Ash deck, um, you know, frozen solid. Let's go, let's go for it, let's, let's get it. We're in the Frostbite mood today. All right, so we can pair, we can pair that with um, Braum and get Kindly Tavern Keeper and Scarthane Stefan, which I'm not a huge fan of either of those, but what this allows us to do is if we take this, we can get a full feel, uh, full Freljord deck, and I have never seen a full Freljord deck, uh, but that could be pretty interesting. You know, like I've, I have liked decks um, that that stay the same region. It, it's, not, it's not often that you get the same region twice. Um, and I have liked decks that they get to just stay the, the same region throughout all the picks because then you, you can get uh, a lot of good synergy. Um, but, but so like that, so really tempted to do this, this route. But then we have two good picks here. You know, Zed with Greenglade Duo and Usari. These are a lot better cards than, than the other two, you know, especially Greenglade Duo is really strong. And, you know, we can, we can build like Elusives with uh, Frostbite backup which is probably probably be a really good deck. And then even the Demacia with like, um, you know, Challenger, si you know, single combat with them fighting. You know, if we can, you can pair that like with Challenger with Frostbite, that's also really powerful. So this one is the least powerful as opposed to the other two. But it's definitely something I've never had before. Yeah, Usari is very good in Expeditions. Um, I've, I've never seen a full Freljord deck. I've never put one of those together. And we, and we just did, we just did a Demacia Ionia deck. I just want, I want to try this. I'm going to try this. Um, even though I, these are both better buckets as cards than this, but I want to try a full Freljord deck and just see what happens. So here we go. Oh man, can we get a whole bunch of Elnux? If we're all if we if we are all um Freljord? I wonder if we could get a whole lot of Elnux. That's interesting. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's try getting uh Yeah, we could probably get a whole bunch of Elnux. This is a really good bucket here, though. Stalking Wolf, you know, Challenger with with the Frostbite is great, and Wild Claw, Alpha Wild Claw is a is a great top end card, um, and that's one thing that we're gonna need to make sure we get our top end cards. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Bull Elnuk. We may be able to get some Elnucks. Oh no, this is working out. These aren't. This is not good. I don't like Tavern Keeper. I don't really like Weirding Stones. Uh, I don't like Tall Tales at all. I guess I guess we're going this route because Trapper is like the best playable card. Don't fall into the Elnuck trap. Yeah, so I should have just taken I should have just taken the six drop and the two drop. Like those those two cards are really good. Hmm. Nah, this is just not this is just not good enough. Alright, so gosh, but tall tails. 
feels so bad. All right. So frozen solid gives us an ice veil archer, which is awesome. Shatter, not so awesome, but you know, isn't isn't the worst. We have bull elnuk, which you know could be awesome if we want to go go for the elnuk trap. Uh, but then we get reaver, and I don't want reaver at all. And we get Sentry, which is a good card, but we get Catalyst of Aeons, and I don't want Catalyst of Aeons at all. So we have two cards I don't want at all. And uh, so therefore, I think we're going with these. And the Archer is great, so we'll just go with the Archer. There's the Troop of Elnux. Oh my gosh, okay. Maybe, I mean, I think we should take that. Um, Scar Mother Verena is good, but Troop of Elnux, this can be... Real good. Oh, man. We keep getting more Eldux. We need, we need more troops, though. Um, this Eldux comes with a, a Scar Thane Stefan, which is an okay card, but really not that good. Stalking Wolf is awesome, but Catalyst is not. Like, I'd probably... I'd rather have Stefan than Catalyst. Um... I don't, I don't want this one over here at all. I, we're just going to take this Bull Elnuk. <laughs> bull Elnuk. Uh, we could have Pack Mentality with the Elducks. All right, so Shatter. Now nah, we're, we're definitely getting this one over here. Brittle Steel is awesome. Omen Hawk is awesome. Yeah, definitely doing this one. That's an easy one. Ooh. This is, this is some good, these are some good buckets, all of these, but especially these last two. We do need, we need some top end, like that's something about this deck that we need top end. So we got Battle Fury or Wild Claw, both good options, but then we can have Brittle Steel or Omen Hawk, both good options also. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure which one to do out of these, these two. Um. I like I like all four of these cards. I guess the Battle Fury is probably the card I like the least, but I really like Omen Hawk. Good job, Nenyo. You got seven wins. Yeah, just take the Wild Claw. Hmm. Votes are split evenly right now between those two. Yeah, I could see Ash Karma being a thing. We do need top end. That is true. Unless we get a whole bunch of bulls. All right. Well, I couldn't take this one also. I like taking the frozen solid bucket to, to incentivize them to put more frozen solids out there. Man, this is rough. What's Feral Mystic? I guess that's playable. Basically, Scar Mother Verana is awesome. Flash Freeze, awesome. Alpha Wild Claw, awesome. <laughs> but these other ones are not good. You know, like, why can't they give us two awesome cards together? Like that last pick. I guess we could do this one. Let's see, Feral Mystic, Enlightened, you get plus four, plus four. Hmm. And that goes with the flash freeze. I kind of need more challenger stuff with all this flash freeze. Need more payoff for the flash freeze. Guess I'm going to go this route. All right. Uh, these are these are these are both good now. 
these two over here. You know, Icefield Archer is a good card, and then Wild Claw got a good top end card. Over here, Babbling Bjerg means that we, you know, that means that we're going to draw either Wild Claw, Ash, or the Icy Yeti. And then Icy Yeti is pretty good. So I think I'm going to go this one over here. Get the Icy Yeti and the Babbling Bjerg that, that will help us, like, find Ash if we don't have Ash. Basically, it's a, it's a one in three shot of drawing Ash. I like that. Another troop of Elnux. What's Ice? Uh, why do we need Iceborne Legacy? I guess Iceborne Legacy could be decent on what on Bull Elnux. I guess that could be decent. Omen Hawk Elixir of Iron is you know just solid. <laughs> Basically, all the illustrations are by Six More Vodka. That company. They're basically all. All right, I'm, I'm gonna take the troop. So we got two troops, three bulls. Allegiance. Okay, I'm in there. With the wild claw, I'm in there. Um. Avalanche could be kind of good, but yeah, let's let's take the the Allegiance card and the Wild Claw. Winter's Breath, kill all enemies with zero power, then frostbite all enemies. That is a pretty slow spell, but it's good. I'm gonna take this middle one, Stalking Wolf and Battle Fury. We do we need more Challenger. Like we do, I even have any Challenger? <laughs> we need some more Challenger, especially with all this frostbite stuff. So I kind of need this Stalking Wolf. We don't have like any challenger. I don't know if this Battle Fury... Yeah, Battle Fury on Wild Claw is awesome. Okay. All right, we can trade Tavern Keeper for Brittle Steel. That's a good trade. We could trade Weirding Stones for Elixir of Iron. That's a good trade. Or we could trade Stefan for Babbling Bjerg. That's a good trade. So we got three good trades to do. Um... I think I think we're probably good on brittle steels. We got two flash freeze, three brittle steel right now. I'm kind of intrigued to take this babbling beard and make it easier to find ash. We definitely need ash. Get rid of the stones. The stones is probably our weakest card. That is true. That stones is our weakest card. And that there's nothing wrong with elixir of iron. Elixir of Iron's a good card. Yeah, I'm good with that. Look, Stones is our worst card. Sure. All right, Mono Freljord. Okay, let's see how we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these other yeah these other ones are are ash decks also. So yeah, we're we're going we're going a lot of frostbite here. Let's send it back. I want to draw a troop of Elnux. I like that we haven't drawn any other Elnux so far. The order rewards its 
faithful. Brothers born from battle. It's not bad. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Go, Ash, go. <clears throat> Alright, that brittle steel or like that uh, elixir of iron was pretty important there. No, my ash. Wonder if we should have Ugh, that's annoying. Wonder if I should have waited on Ash until Like should I have waited to play Ash until it would have had it flipped? No, I don't really have anything to take out elusives. Not really. No, I haven't played Zombie Ash, but, um... Lightly, strike hard. The Ash Spiders deck that I'm playing is similar to uh, Zombie Ash. Many tribes, one Freljord. Hey, Vassin, yeah, I changed, changed my Twitch name a little while ago to... Uh, Um, to have a Twitch name that didn't have a, any specific games in it. But yeah, and then and Vassin, and then I've started playing this game Legends of Runeterra here, which is a game I really like and recommend. Time for a leap of faith. Gosh. This is not good. I have exactly 13. With those two, I can brittle steal the, the other one, but they have exactly 13. All right, we got our quest done. Yeah, Vassin, so if you if you haven't, um, if you haven't checked out Legends of Runeterra, because you said you are gone for a little while, I wrote a couple weeks ago why I like it more than Magic there and i hope you get uh check out this game and give it a shot okay so blood sworn pledge get another battle fury 
I don't think I want to trade the archer, even though the wild claw is very good. I think I really don't like kindly tavern keeper, and we have two of those. So I think I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna trade one of those for an, another battle fury. Now we could use some more overwhelm for the battle fury. No, elusives again. Troop of Elnux. I don't want to do too much mulliganing because I don't want to draw an Elnuk. If that makes sense. Like, these are not Elnuks in hand. I don't want to just accidentally draw an Elnuk. I want them all in my deck. So, good. Trade brittle steels for now. I'm doing that because we're going to be tapping out like these next turns. Like, look, we have four, five, six, seven, so I'm not going to really have time to play that. I guess I would be able to save the mana, though. Faster than my arrow? I think not. playing our deck but, but better Our duck, but better. Water changes, but never breaks. Because they have the challenger. Strike, we will reform. Form will the waters take? Stop having these challengers. Cool, yeah, glad glad you like it, Vassin. Uh, or, you know, glad it sounds intriguing. I really do recommend it a lot. Swiftly now. Been enjoying it quite a bit. So I just have one Brittle Steel available. Of 
not yield? I'm gonna try to just take the trades. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Now. My aim is true. Yeah, I could have some Ash Fiora. You could go with that. I will unite the Frail Yord. Wait. Frostbite an enemy and all other enemies with three or less health. Draw one. That card is awesome. Wait, so it just does this and then all other enemies with three or less health and it draws a card? What? Sounds great. It was created by Ash. Dang. That card's incredible. They got a lot more of these challengers. Making their deck pretty good. Show me a target. This is my first time ever transforming Ash. transformed against me. All right, we got their Ash out of here. We did it. We got their Ash out of here. We had our own Ash. All right, we survived. Had more brittle steels. All right, come on, get another ash. Yeah. Oh, this is tough. So I definitely just kind of feel like we should just take the ash, and then Rhymefang Wolf is awesome and an outrider. Like this, this is just awesome. Like I feel like we should just take these. But it is a Nivea with a Yeti and a Bjerg. No, no, we should just take this this column here. Yeah, this is just is what our deck's all about. We need that Rhyme Fang Wolf also. Okay. Get that win. And we just improved our deck a whole lot.
There we go. Got an ash. Got a troop. Wolf. This is pretty good. Right now I want Brittle Steel. That's the card that I want the most. Darn, I thought that was it. Because I want to play this Wolf on turn 3. And then untap, play the Ash, and have Brittle Steel available for whatever blocks the Ash. That doesn't seem like a very good use of Brittle Steel. Just to put one damage on a Wolf. Uh, flash freeze is a little, a little more expensive. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Well, we're looking good on the battlefield. Let's say, but they have a lot of cards in hand. My dream is nearly complete. An apt pupil. Mine. <laughs> 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 We go The time is right. Strike now. Yeah, this is Ben by Matchbox 20. Oh, man, they're down to seven. Uh, their troop didn't hit anything. My troop can bring some cows to the party. <laughs> just had to do that. I had to flex. So our, our L knocks are better. <laughs> Probably didn't use my mana the best, but. Oh. Ouch. So the card over here that's the best by far is this Rhyme Tux. Tusk Shaman. This card is amazing. Start of the round, Frostbite, the strongest enemy. This card is incredible, and I'm going to take it. But we have to give away our Omen Hawk, and that hurts. Like, this Iceborne Legacy isn't very good. Neither is the Tavern Keeper. I like kind of both, you know, I, I like trading both of those away. But this card is just too good. It just wins games. So we just have to take the Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Ugh, that hurts the... Yeah, we haven't played the Omen yet, but still, like, those are... The Shaman and the Omen Hawk were the two cards I like the most out of all those, by far. So, like, we have to trade. Really good card, just to get a great card. But that's, that's worth it. You trade a really good card for a great card. Yuck, get out of here. Oh, Crystal Arrow replaces the top card of your deck, so you draw the Crystal Arrow for turn. Interesting. Create a Crystal Arrow next round. So that's the card that you draw is this Crystal Arrow.
Zero Frostbite cards. Zero. And they're just playing zero cards. There's a Frostbite card. I play Bjerg. I have a 25% chance of... No, no. I guess it's more. I have a 40% chance of drawing Ash. Many tries. Or I can just play the Riders, get that top thing. I'll just play the Riders. I'm probably going to go Troop this next turn. Yeah, we'll have to watch to see if we level up Ash. What happens? No, just one Elnuk. Play the Bjerg. That's pretty good. That's a lot of cards. Got a lot of cards over there. Remember the That's another card. It was right on my tail. There's Ash. You're at two out of five. Ash turns into Flash Freeze. That makes sense. So it looks like our top You know, we played the allegiance card that put the top uh gave our top creature plus 3 plus 3. It looks like that thing got shuffled whenever we play the troop of Elnux it shuffled that away. So that's kind of good to note. It's probably better to play the troop of Elnux first if possible. Wait, if I would have, I should have just, Stand strong. before oh saying attackers, I could have just burst, burst, flash freeze, flash freeze, flip ash, now they can't block, and just killed them. Yeah, I could have just killed them there.
Yeah, I, I had lethal. At least depending on what they have. Yeah, they would have detained. Still got him. Okay. Uh, this is a very easy pick. We get third Ash. And Rhyme Tank, Rhyme Fang Wolf, which has been awesome, and Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Rhyme Tusk Shaman is so great. So yeah, I think we should just take that. This one is, I guess this is, this one is really enticing over here. Get another Flash Freeze and a Harsh Winds. Harsh Winds is awesome. But I think we need the the Shaman. Yeah, we're just gonna take this. Our deck's frozen solid. What's up, pools? Yeah, Ash can make some sneaky lethals for sure. Ash may be up there in the underrated commander or champion. Um, underrated champion list. I'll keep this. Uploading this. ESP Garen's elusives. Those are a couple good draws. Pretty good. Nothing can stop me. Nothing. I'm sure there's something that could stop you. Right on. All the world on one arrow. Cut him down. We just frostbite that thing. In formation. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. I feel like Ash can construct as well. There's seven drops that freezes all enemies, kills all zero power units. Yeah, that card seems pretty strong. No, we don't want to draw that bull. Yeah, I like that card too. Yeah, that's, so, you know, I, I haven't had ashes before today. We're going to craft some ashes, so we're, we're going to be playing two, two ash decks after this also. What's up, boot? We got some big nucks. I've got your back. Mm. Uh, I could have brought two L nucks if I would have played it the turn before. World awaits forward. All 
All right, so we're at three out of five for Ash. This will be four out of five upkeep. Whenever we attack, it'll be five out of five. Show them the might of Noxus. Honor guide me. Cavalry to the field. So they're tapped out, so they can't do any more damage. If I take 13, I'm not dead. You should call this deck a, a Nuck Nuck joke. And then they got, let's see. I don't think they're going to have too direct damage to me. Shouldn't be able to block. None of these things can block now. Because of leveled up Ash. So they're gonna need some kind of removal. This is 15. No. Alright, that that works. And now they get this. Gross. Well, I went for it. They had the pump spell. Yeah. Dang. I feel like I shouldn't have lost that. I don't know. Maybe I could have played it safer. I don't know. I don't have any frostbite stuff left. So I'm just dead to the 10 power trampler. Okay. Um, I am going to trade out this Stefan and get another Flash Freeze. I don't really want that Stefan. Flash Freeze is really good. Let's do that, especially in our deck. Oh yeah, did I not draw? I didn't draw Crystal Arrow, did I? Yeah, I don't know. Why didn't I get a Crystal Arrow? I, I think, yeah, I think Ash is supposed to draw a Crystal Arrow and level up. I don't understand how the card works. Yeah, you're right. I didn't have a Crystal Arrow in hand. So I don't I don't know. I don't have any answers. Ash puts the arrow on top of the deck. So shouldn't I have drawn it whenever I untapped? Because I didn't draw it, I drew something else. I'm glad we just traded for another flash freeze because we we could use some some spells here. We got all creatures. Use some brittle steels and flash freezes.
I did play the Elnuk. Yeah, I did play Troop of Elnuks, and yes, that does shuffle the, the library. Yes. Yep, it shuffles the deck when you play Troop of Elnuks. Okay, that's that's what it was. So then I shuffled it away. Darn, so I should have played the Wild Claw. I was thinking that was going to be one creature short if I with the Wild Claw. Is it a slow spell? It is a slow spell. They could have gone straight to combat. They follow the wrong master. Only the worthy survive. I will unite the frail yard. Yes, that's what happened. Elnok shuffled it away. The Yordle here with me. Swiftly now. Hold up. Let the bloodshed begin. Hmm. Katarina is like the perfect card against Rhyme Tusk Shaman, isn't it? No one gets in my way. It's like the perfect card there. But Frostbite stuff is perfect against Katarina. I just don't have any Frostbite stuff. Cost four. I thought Katarina cost three. Oh, the second Katarina cost four. Okay. I didn't realize that. Hey, Fima. So, right now, my plan is like, you know, Battle Fury, Wild Claw. Where there is life, That's there my is current plan for the next turn. Um. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Send chills up my spine. Shatter them! By force of will, act with conviction. Sweet. Four and two. So we're tied for our first expedition with wins. Ooh, a harsh wins? Oh, yeah. Definitely want harsh wins. This Tavern Keeper isn't any good. They're giving us some good trades. I don't want Iceborne Legacy either, so trading that for Rhymefang Wolf would be awesome too. Those are both really good trades, but I'm taking the harsh wins. We have been getting good trades with this deck.
I could definitely see winning seven with this. I could see it. Ooh, this is going to be tough, Fiora Garen. They got a, a full on Demacia deck. This is going to be tough. Need some spells. I don't need all these creatures. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, BJJ. Went O2 in your drafts today. Confine and contain. Good Laurent. Gosh. Ugh, this is gross. No one expects the Freljord pump spell. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Ice runs in our veins. Man, we keep on drawing these crappy creatures. I don't want any of that stuff. Drawing our worst cards. We need more frostbite cards. The Vanguard stands as one. Hmm. I can't play that. Cause I need to have this brittle steel available. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. You will remember this day. We are to you. Track them down. Right out! Ah! Beautiful cool, their thing didn't strike, so they don't get any more challenger. That works out pretty well. Now Ash flips. There's the crystal arrow. There is no shelter. Strength and grace, beauty of the blade. 
United, nothing can stop us. That Elmer could use a bath. Reporting for duty. Pledge to Sejuani's service. No. We got some more ashes. Draw another one. Ooh, that's a good card. These shamans are still going to keep the battlefield pretty clear. Do I want to do this crystal arrow right now? Probably not. I want to do that on my turn. Let us settle this with great sensibility. All right, well, I guess we're doing it now. Plus four, plus four, Ash. Ice runs in our veins. Whew. Now we're talking. I will unite the failure. War, Mother Ash. The honor. Now we're talking. OPP surrendered. 10 8 Ash. Our deck is sweet. That's why we took those Rhyme Tusk Shamans. They're too good to pass up. All right. Uh, we get. <clears throat> Looks like we can get another Flash Freeze by getting rid of the Feral Mystic, which I'm all for that. The Feral Mystic's not any good. Flash Freeze is awesome. So that's a great trade. Or I could trade a Brittle Steel for a Winter's Breath. Which is pretty epic. Literally. But Brittle Steel is really good. I'm going to just do this middle trade. I think that this is a much bigger upgrade, this this middle one, than that, that one. All right, five wins. Let's keep it going. Yeah, that was an awesome comeback there. That one looked bad for a little bit. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and let's go. Nothing like the great outdoors. Blech. Armed and ready. Timo's gonna be able to attack me twice. Well, we did not draw the best curve. We'll see if we can see if we can use our Rhyme Tusk Shaman power and win a late game again. Man, we're really good at just drawing like random creatures and not our spells. You'll thank me later. So they, they did not cho choose the, the Teemo. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Make the obvious play. See what they got. How did that move go? Transform one follower into another. 
It's like, what are they? So they're. Are they turning the O2 into a 3 3 2, I guess? Yeah, I guess it's just gonna happen. So these will just trade. Or are they doing it the other way around? Okay, yeah. That's alright. So we traded our wolf for their conspirator, which is, you know, a great two drop and a six mana spell. That doesn't seem so bad. Hmm. Swiftly. I basically played the bull, even though it's it's obviously a lot player better to play the shaman. But I played the bull. Because I was scared of Zed. I can spend two cards to kill the Teemo. I can spend the Brittle Steel and the Shatter. If I do that, I don't really have tricks. I have four cards left. They have four cards. And I guess one of them's a Teemo. So they, ha they have a backup Teemo in hand. Because, yeah, that's... They didn't even pump up the team we know about. Mm, maybe we should be playing the Shaman. My life for the Order. Stand together! So if I, if I play Shaman, then I could have Brittle Steel and Flash Freeze to protect Ash and not just one or the other. But of course, this is attacking for a lot more. Okay, it worked out. But then again, having the Shaman whenever we untap would be good too. Let's just kill the Zed. It's probably good getting Zed out of there. Oh yeah, we have Braum. Kind of forgot about Braum because we haven't seen Braum this whole time. These are dangerous Armed and ready. I will play my part. A lot of mushrooms. Quite a collection. Just have to not die to the mushrooms. Sends up my spine. Why can't I have one more mana? I don't know, last time I tried this, we lost. But this is again lethal, they can only block with one creature. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. Hey Punch Factory, battles are going good. We had a real good deck our first round. Sweet, that'll do it. Um but I ran into two other really strong decks and we lost two in a row. Some really good 
back and forth games. Um, and now we got this really sweet Ash Flash Freeze deck where Ash is just owning. And we are 6-2. and two. So what can we trade? No, they don't give us a, a really great trade like all the other ones so far. I guess we get five trades here. Okay, so we're not trading away the Stalking Wolf. Like the first and the last, we're not doing it all. Do we want to trade a Battle Fury for a Reaver? No, not really. We got five mana creatures. All right, skip that trade. Bjerg for Harsh Winds. I'm listening. Yeah, we'll take the Harsh Winds. I could see doing the middle one too, trading the Legacy for the Yeti. But I think Harsh Winds is the, the best of these cards. Let's take the Harsh Winds. Um, they're not giving us as great of trades. I don't want Reaver or Ancient Yeti or Shatter. Okay, played some awesome games with the Demacia deck. Nice. Yeah, it is a very, very consistent deck for sure. Um, well, Braum doesn't really fit our deck at all, and Trindamir can just win games, so I guess we're going to trade trade out Braum for Trindamir. That makes sense. We've never cast Braum once. We drew The first time we drew it was that other time, but Trindamir can just win games. All right, and then finally, our last one that we're going to do is this last trade. Like, the Battle Furies, like, we really don't need these Battle Furies too much. Like, it, I guess we can have, like, one is okay. Let's get another Elnuk, you know, make our troop of Elnucks better. Let's do that. Let's do that. This Iceborne Legacy, while it looks like a really bad card, has actually saved us a couple of times. Final battle. Final battle. Let's go. Final boss time. Here we go. Final boss. If we win this, we get enough shards to pay for our expedition for tomorrow. Ooh. I bet this is a good deck. This Demacia Ionia deck. All right, Mulligan. Here we go. Pretty decent Mulligan. We got two pair. Shaman Kicker. I'm what nightmares fear. Pretty surprised they didn't challenger this, honestly. I'm pretty surprised they didn't challenger that. Mono Freljord's your favorite archetype? It's been working out real well for us so far.
I know it's like it's better to play like these five drops, but I, they are going pretty wide. Okay, yeah, I definitely should have played the troop. I don't know why. I thought for sure, like, this, that's right. This just has to strike anything. Could strike me. Yeah, I should have played the troop. Yeah, I messed up there. Yeah, I definitely messed up. Yeah, I should have played troop. That would have been good to have on defense this last turn. All right, this Harsh Winds should be pretty good. We have enough for Frost, Harsh Winds plus Frostbite also. Uh, which we're going to need both of those. That's a good that's a good draw. Um Right, they're at eight. I was thinking they're at twelve for a little bit. And then realized they're at eight. Oh no! What? So they're doing the good game thing and it's not game? Classic. Classic. The frost reveals all to me. That was a great card. Come 
on. Yes. Ah, oh, they didn't have. They didn't have a twin disciplines. Is it better to play another Wow Claw? Like I could go Wow Claw Bull Elnuk. Like what are they gonna have? They just didn't they didn't play anything there. What are they gonna have that's better than Wow Claw Bull Elnuk? Like what's gonna punish me for doing those? They'd have to have lifesteal, right? There is no shelter. Which it is possible, but I sure hope not. Well, that's not a good block. They don't have it. Seven and two, we did it. Man, what a crazy game. Let's get some victory fanfare going. 1500 XP for that trial. Trial complete, seven wins. Whew. That was, that was close. Man, we had some crazy games there. Man, Frostbite stuff is good. All right, so we got our 3000 shards to pay for our back plus a champion capsule which that's better than just a random champion because champion capsule gets us an epic wild card got upgraded got some rares and an ash which we needed ash for our perfect that was the the champion that we wanted the most and it makes sense that we got an ash after um after that expedition with all those uh, ashes that we played to win us some games. Awesome. And then we got our 3,000 shards. Cool. What, what else we got? We got a golden chest. It's in our golden chest. A bunch of extra copies of stuff. And some more shards. All right. So cool. So there was a great expedition. So it looks like Mono Freljord worked out really well, especially just hammering home the, the Frostbite stuff, get the Challenger, the Challenger Wolves, all that Frostbite stuff, Brittle Steel, Flash Freeze, uh, Harsh Winds, all very good cards, especially with Ash. Um, and we even had the Elnux. You know, like we actually did, we actually did a pretty good job drafting Elnux. You know, we had what? We had um, three bull Elnux and two troop of Elnux for a while. And then like that last round, we got a fourth bull Elnux. Um, so we even got to high roll with some Elnux sometimes too. Um, so that's awesome. So there we go. That was a, uh, we, we only drew Braum one time in, in our second to last match. So that would have been match number eight. We drew Braum. We didn't cast Braum, but we drew, that was the one time we drew Braum. And then we, uh, sent Braum away for a Trindomir for the last round, but we didn't draw the Trindomir either. Um, Awesome. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, and uh, yeah, leave those comments. Let me know what you're doing in Expeditions. And let me know uh, if you like all the Frostbite stuff and things like that. All right. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.